Rose Hip Coffee is one of the newest coffee trailers in town and they're all about the delicious coffee but also the made from scratch delicious desserts. We're gonna meet the owner and sample the coffee. joined by the owner Katie here at your awesome coffee trailer. This is a dream for you. Tell me all about it. Yes, yeah, so I've always known that I wanted to go into the food business. I grew up baking with my mom and that was always a passion of mine. And so growing up, I knew I wanted to have a bakery. And as I got older and kind of figured out, you know, what are the costs involved of doing <laughs> all of that? I figured that a great first start would be opening a coffee trailer where I get to do coffee and I also get to do baking as well. Rose Hip Coffee is located a few blocks north of the McNay Art Museum near Katie's old neighborhood. It turns out the church parking lot is in the process of making this area into a community park. So the logo is actually a picture of one of my grandmas from back in the 50s. And so her wow. name was Rosa. And so I knew I had to have something Rose inspired as the name. And there's a book, Esperanza Rising, and in it, the abuela, she always makes tea out of rose hips. Oh. And she said, when you drink that tea, you can see all of the beauty that the flower ever saw. And so oh. that's what I wanted for this. Yes. I wanted this to be a place <laughs> the community could come together, they could share a cup of coffee, and they could just celebrate the beautiful parts of life together. Oh, I love the inspiration behind the coffee and the baked goods, which we are about to sample now. So you're going to make three drinks for us. Yes. And of course, we're going to have to try these pastries, the baked to. goods. <laughs> all right. First drink we're going to make is the vanilla cinnamon latte. And so I make all of my own syrups, all made with different um, healing botanicals and also all organic. So the vanilla cinnamon is definitely one of the most popular. And as it gets hotter outside, it's wonderful to drink it iced. So put in the espresso in and some of the syrup. We get some milk. And we top it off with ice. Put the top down, give it a little shake and it's done. The next one we're gonna do is the honey saffron latte. And so this one I think is really special. It has definitely a unique flavor to it. And it's something that you're probably not gonna find at a lot of other places. And it, I like it hot better than cold actually, because it just feels like a warm hug. For this one, since we're doing hot, we're gonna steam the milk. All right, so the next drink that we're gonna make is a lavender sage. And so this is another one of our really popular drinks. And we're gonna do this one iced. And this one has a very big floral punch. So while you're drinking it, even when you kind of add the espresso, you start to smell the lavender. All right, we saw the coffee drinks, and now it's time to check out the desserts. Hello. Yes, hello. So I've heard you love lavender, so yes. we've got the lavender sage latte for you. Thank you. Of Yum. course. My favorite. And speaking of lavender, let's talk about these delicious desserts here, because I think this one yes. is, has some lavender in it. It does. So love biscuits. So this biscuit over here is a lavender lemon. Lavender lemon. And then we've got a cheddar black pepper biscuit and then a vanilla bean orange cardamom biscuit as well. Oh my well. goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I'm gonna try this, don't yes. mind me. Uh, let's talk about what we have over here. Of course, so over here, we have got a strawberry corn cookie, and it is filled with blackberry preserves and lime buttercream. Mm. And sounds then, amazing. Yes, <laughs> and then over here, we've got a coconut guava bun. So it's kind of the same dough as a cinnamon roll, mm -hmm. but it's filled with cream cheese filling with guava and coconut. Are you gonna dig in with me now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some more help <laughs> yes, with that. We need some help. Thank you. Yes. Lots of people here. All right, again, salive.com. For more information, just head over to click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan the QR code right there on your screen. I'm going in. I'm going in for the biscuit, because, you know, I love lavender. Oh, look at all right, here's a look at other <laughs> coffee shops that are offering 20% off a drink if you bring a reusable cup from now through the end of the month. San Antonio River Authority's current public awareness initiative is don't let litter trash your river. So they hope this partnership will help push that awareness. Be sure to go out and support local.